Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM and this kit is molded in 135 scale, it's a, actually a combo release because we have a Model T Air NAS armored car together with World War 1 British tank crew so you can see on the box art what you actually get in this box and we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and it will be interesting to take a closer look at all these parts and um, kit itself this car was released as a sole kit or sole model before we reviewed it as well you can find a review on our youtube channel but today we have this particular combo which is numbered at 35670 and let's open it so packaging here is typical and you can see that we have nice box art here you can check comparison with my hand next on the side we have some information about the real prototype and also some information about the kit there should be just give me a second 91 plus 34 parts so you can guess that 91 parts will go for vehicle and 34 will be used for figures and on the opposite side you can see a marking guide for the same marking option as what we have on the box art but now we will need a sharp knife because as usual it is sealed with this sticky tape on the sides so it can be sold only with a sharp knife and I will do it in a second in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially by joining our membership on YouTube or maybe doing a donation via PayPal with help of special button we have support DSV button on our website and all this money will be used for new photo and video equipment and also for the new PC because as you remember our PC broke down completely beyond repairs and now we need your help in order to get a new equipment okay so I'm gradually cutting all these stickers and as I said in previous reviews I'm not in favor of such solution because it actually let's say forbids you from checking what is actually supplied inside you have to check reviews like this one and but on the serious note you can't check if everything is intact and you have to rely let's say on your seller so that he will ship it properly packed and everything will be fine so here we have two plastic bags with gray plastic sprues we also have assembly manual on the bottom but we will check everything one by one we are going to start with figures of course so just give me a second it's a receivable plastic bag so you can store sprue when you will be building this kit and here is what we have inside so let's zoom in a bit now you should be able to see that we have here I would say typical design for 135 scale and you won't see any unusual surprises here now we can zoom even further to one of the corners so parts division is typical we have separate legs hands arms and one piece torso here and here you can see second figure and molding quality seems to be fine I mean ICM figures there are usually good looking out of the box so it's just a matter of careful combining a combination of all these parts together because if you flip it over you can notice that there are no guiding pins whatsoever so you have to be careful while joining all this stuff and also track the overall fitment so that it will look natural on figures and it won't be just like a, some cheap action figure assembled out of separate pieces okay next we go on with another plastic bag this one is dedicated to vehicle sprues and there are not that many because it's a 135 scale I would say Model T so that's why parts are really tiny and we are going to start with this plastic sprue here we have road wheels and also some of the suspension and drivetrain parts you can notice for example here wheel axles and drivetrain fuel tank here also the bonnet parts, steering wheel and some other minor elements and note that even thinnest parts they are carefully molded so with some due care you will be able to build everything in a quite nice shape I would say and I would like to zoom in a bit more to these plastic wheels because that's really cool that they're molded out of plastic even though they're supplied as a one piece still it's better than sub assembly out of vinyl parts and plastic parts here you can check some of the mechanical parts 
And of course you will have to be careful with these thin parts because they are really easy to break and then it would be a good idea if you break them to replace just with metal wire because it will be more difficult to repair them from the scratch. Okay, next we have Wicker's machine gun. Frankly speaking I'm not sure what it is doing here so we will have to check the assembly manual but as you can see it is supplied on the separate sprue and it was released with figures, it was released as a separate kit, now we have it in this vehicle kit and of course it's a nice inclusion, I don't have anything against it but I'm not sure how it will be used so we will have to check the assembly manual in order to understand fully what is the purpose of this part. Next we have this plastic bag with clear sprues, so just give me a second, again, okay so here we have clear plastic frame and here we will need only few parts because as you remember this is armored car so there were not that many clear or transparent sections but molding quality is really nice, I'm not sure if mass templates are included, we will see it in assembly manual but as for the molding quality as usual for ICM I don't have anything to say and the last grey plastic sprue is actually designed for use only with this version so here you can see we have these body panels and note that doors are molded shut here so you won't be able to expose what is hidden inside and anyway there is nothing hidden inside so it's not such a great issue molding quality again looks nice and there are some guiding elements which should help you with proper alignment of these parts together as you can see some rise tabs so it should be relatively easy to combine these parts and get a nice looking vehicle okay next we have a really tiny decal sheet okay so here it is and you can notice that we have decals for one marking option, printing quality looks nice so it's just a matter of careful application as for the assembly manual it is typical for this brand as you can see it's a color printed brochure with short history note on the first page also we have technical specifications and paint chart and if we open it here we have parts map note how many parts won't be used because they are designed for use with a civil version of this car let's say and everything starts with the frontal section here you will have to modify original plastic parts next you combine it together with this special floor panel you assemble the engine next you continue with various drivetrain parts and also exhaust here we continue with wheel axle for the rear here we have road wheels assembly and as you can see for this you will have to combine original wheels together with new frontal section here we have also floor panel and you will be given a choice because um, not every version used these wooden panels as far as I remember next we install some parts for the driver compartment and side panels here you can see side walls and also some details for the drivers actually machine gunners compartment here we install top section for the driver's seat front armor wall here next we continue with headlamps and various handles here and there again various lamps spare wheel on the top machine gun on the rear section that's really interesting and here we have one and only marking option so it's the same as what was depicted on the box art but as some of you wrote in the previous video review you can find easily some other marking options if you would like to copy them on your vehicle next we go on with separate assembly manual for Vickers machine gun as you can see we have parts map straight away and then assembly process is explained even though there are two options for assembly so it's either standing or uh, line on the ground machine gun you will be able to copy one for the vehicle here you can see these two assembly options and that's not all for assembly manuals because we have one more here it is so this one is dedicated to World War One British tank crew we have parts map, paints chart and on the rear we have marking guide which is combined together with assembly manual 
This is also typical format for ICM, so you won't be surprised if you already assembled some of ICM kits. As for this kit, it should be already available. You can get it on official Modelimax webshop, for example. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!